Our top story tonight is the fallout from Monday's officer-involved shooting at Austin East Magnet High School that left 17-year-old Anthony Thompson Jr. dead. Today, Knox County District Attorney Sharm Allen defended her position for choosing not to release body camera video until after the investigation is complete. Right, so the Knoxville Police Department says Lieutenant Stanley Cash, Officer Jonathan Claybo, Officer Brian Baldwin, and Officer Adam Wilson, Austin East's SRO, by the way, who was shot in the leg, they were all involved in this deadly shooting. KPD says all four have been placed on temporary leave per department policy. Now yesterday we told you the TBI said that the bullet that struck Officer Wilson was not fired from Anthony's gun. While all of this is still preliminary investigation, agents say that the teen's gun was fired during a struggle. Officers then fired twice. And there have been calls for the DA to release the body camera footage by Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon, community leaders, neighbors, so that people can see what happened with their own eyes. But Allen is standing by her decision. WAT.com reporter Austin Martin standing by tonight with more on District Attorney Sharm Allen's stance. Austin. Yeah, Bo Summer. Allen referred to herself as Person Charm Allen and DA Charm Allen in today's event. She says Charm the person wants to release the video and answer questions, but the Charm Allen who is elected to serve this community simply cannot. Especially uh, as a mother to Anthony's mother, um, I know this is an extremely painful time for them. So. Uh, I'd like to express my sincere condolences. It's been three days since Anthony Thompson Jr. died in an officer-involved shooting at Austin East. The community demanding to get more answers. Part of that is body cam footage from that incident. It has to be done in the appropriate time. I agree that the community has a right to see this. I agree that you, as the press, have a right to see this. It's just a timing issue. Time for the TBI to finish their investigation. The TBI comes in here as an independent law enforcement review body when uh, Knox County Sheriff's Office or KPD are involved in an officer involved shooting. TBI is investigating this case. Um, they collect all the evidence and they present that evidence to my office. But figuring out exactly what happened that day will take time too. Here, no question, there was a homicide of Anthony Thompson. Our job is to determine whether or not that was a lawful or an unlawful homicide. As for the footage, attorney Greg Isaacs says holding that video is all part of the process. Regardless of the publicity, regardless of the context, regardless of what was said at the press conference, uh, if it was any other case, and Greg Isaacs asked for the video and the investigations ongoing in Knox County, uh, I would be met with a resounding no. And even once she's allowed to release the video, DA Allen says there's something she's going to do first. We're talking about a 17 year old kid who has a family who loved him very much. And before I would ever release the video showing his homicide to the public, to the press, to anyone, I would sit with that family, I would talk with that family, I would answer all of their questions first, and I would let them view that video in the privacy of my office as many times as they wanted to see it before it would be released. Now, Alan is asking for patience as this investigation continues. She says her office is, is going to be as transparent as they can through this entire process. In Knoxville, Austin Martin, WATE 6 on your side.